Our YouTube Pie Guys doing as WWDC is fairly near next Monday and we know Steve Jobs is going to come on stage and talk about iOS 5, the next operating system for the iOS devices, Mac operating system, Line and iCloud. No detail as to what iCloud could be but in this video specifically I'm going to talk about what I would like to see in iOS 5, what improvements I'd like to see. And just before I start on my kind of wish list. I have never used an Android phone for more than 5 minutes, I've never owned an Android device or a Windows phone device or any kind of other device other than Apple. Previous to Apple, which was about 3 years ago, I had a Nokia 6300 or a 3200, you know those cheapy ones. Uh, so the iPhone it was kind of my, has always been for the past 3 years, my next generation operating system software or phone. So I'm going to give you a rundown as to what I'd like and hopefully for feedback from you guys or if you agree with me or disagree and what would you like to generally see in iOS 5. The first thing is faster syncing. Now I know you're going to say well that's not really down to the software, it's USB 2. I think we're going to see faster syncing once Thunderbolt enabled iPhones come in the near future, maybe next year or the year after that. I don't know but partially the software could also give us a boost. I mean, there's a lot of times where I'm going at the house and I quickly want to put something on it. And if you're like me, I don't sync my iPhone to my iMac or my computer in general for weeks on. And the moment you sync it in to your computer for after weeks, it takes a long time to back up and sync everything. So I don't like that. I like it to, you know, put it in quickly, put your podcast onto your phone and out the door you go. So I'd like that speed bump in the syncing process. The second thing is kind of similar to the first one over the air updates for iOS updates so you don't have to connect your iPhone to a computer to have the software update it should just be over Wi-Fi that would be great it's just the extra hassle of putting your, connecting your phone and so on I'm sure this is in the works I believe it also works over Android and this is one of the things Android boasts over I've read a few articles so there's no reason why Apple can't do it the same the third thing for me is YouTube the YouTube application on the iPhone and the iPad isn't that great it buffers quite a lot and trust me I've tried it in various different Wi-Fi locations and the whole experience of YouTube on iOS devices isn't that great. Uh, it's still kind of difficult to use to navigate around so I would like to see, although it's not really iOS 5 kind of changes but I would like to see Apple and Google working together to give a better YouTube experience across all iOS devices and after all Apple is kind of leading the way in smartphones and the tablet devices so there's no reason for you know Apple execs and Google execs to sit down and make a more friendlier experience when it comes to YouTube because at the moment uh, I'm not a big fan of it, I rarely use it. The third thing that I'd like to see an improvement in is multitasking and that is across all iOS devices but the iPad in specific. It's absolutely horrible that when you're holding an iPad you have to kind of move your hand and press that button it shouldn't be that way for that because of the screen size yeah it's bigger yeah so I would like something a bit like Mac OS 10 like you know spaces um, expose the, that would be fantastic hot corners that would be great now I'm not I'm not saying exact same features but similar easy to use uh, whether they kind of replicate that it would be nice to see something slightly more differentiated from the iTouch and iTouch the iPod touch and the iPhone and then the iPad on one side. The iPad is a bigger device so you would, I, I would personally like something a bit more than just pressing the second button and multitasking across the iPhone and iPod Touch, yeah it could be improved. I mean I've seen some mock-ups uh, in the past and they look great and I believe Apple has hired one of the kind of jailbroken guys uh, who came up with quite a lot of mock-ups so we could see something hand in hand with you know unofficial versus official coming together for the greater cause and I'm definitely looking to see whether it happens in iOS 5 or the next version or any update, I don't know. The next thing I want to talk about is smart tagging apps. Now you're thinking what on earth is that? Basically when you download an application from the app store from your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad it automatically by default just goes onto the screen, uh, you know, onto the last space available on the screen. It would be nice to kind of have smart tagging so basically once it's downloaded it automatically goes into a folder that you've created so let's say I've created a folder with just action games so when I'm downloading something from iTunes it's an action game 
it automatically goes to the action game folder. Because after all, we do have folders and when you're downloading an application, you have to personally look for it and then drag that to the home folder or the folder that you've created. So why not just make it easier, make it integrated, ask the developers to smart tag it. So when it comes to your iPad, it goes directly into that folder so you, the user, doesn't have to manually drag it and put it into a folder. I know it's being a bit more lazy, I guess, but in essence, you know, you're kind of upping the game and because we're downloading so many apps, um, I feel this have to make the process more easier. That's just my thoughts, what do you guys think? And the last thing on my list is UI. We've always kind of had the same user interface for the iPhone iPod Touch. It would be great to have something a bit more fresher. And that coupled with what I've said earlier, you know, multitasking, expose, a bit of a change from the usual stuff. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the home screen or the lock screen. I would like, you know, something similar if you've got notifications, you know, have your notifications on there. So if you've got emails, Facebook, Twitter, it all shows up in that lock screen because by default, my iPhone uh, turns off after two minutes. So it'd be nice if I press that power button, I know what kind of notifications I've got, whether I've got any emails I need to check, rather than manually going through the phone to see if I've got a red pop-up to see how many notifications there are. Similarly, it would be nice to kind of have a lock screen with your Twitter feed on it. That would be nice, some social integration, so you don't manually have to open Twitter up each time. It runs in the background, so when you press the lock button to unlock your iPhone, you get a Twitter list of all your recent tweets. Or if you mark it as a favourite, it shows you some of the, your favourite people that tweet. That would be nice. So guys, that's it about for the list. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have you got any other things you want to add or see improved in the iOS 5? It's all going to be revealed next Monday. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. Again, this was just a wish list. This is the things I would like to see. Obviously, Apple do kind of impress each time they have a conference or most of the times anyway. But guys, if you can leave a comment, video response would be amazing. Guys, I will see you guys in another life. Cheers! Looking to send a package at the lowest price possible? Simple. Visit parcelmonkey.co.uk, follow these four simple steps, have the package collected from your doorstep, and then sit back and relax.